Look at that guy, so many monster mod cards. Oh wow. Yay, it's Tomato Mike! Hi guys! <laughs> What's up guys? I am BG Mike. I am calling myself a tomato because I, I basically look like one. I mean I have I have my red freaking face from the sunburn and then I got the leaves, you know? It's, it's kind of perfect, right? Anyway, we're back with another episode of Kindergarten. One of my, I think probably one of my favorite games to play this year is seriously so... It's such a wonderful game. It's so unique. Uh, there's so many things about it that's just like mwah, kiss, kisses everywhere. <laughs> Last episode, we got the arrested for fidget spinner route, and it was crazy. <laughs> we totally got arrested for our fidget spinner, and it was it was so dope. Oh, and by the way, guys, I'm gonna be shipping out those one wheeled bikes really soon. Okay, so make sure you leave an additional like to to lock in to lock in that one wheel bike, guys. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I you should definitely click this eye above here. That will take you to last episode, where all of this will actually make sense. So anyway, guys, we're gonna get all Monster Mon cards this episode. I don't know if it's even gonna do anything. We're just gonna do it, okay? I, I don't even know if it's gonna work. We're missing a lot, though. I do know that we have to buy a few of them, so I guess first things first, we're going to uh, save up as uh, much money as we can and try to get one. I know that Monty is selling one in the playground. Oh crap. <laughs> Dang it, I, I brought five cents more. Okay, bugs, chill. Sadly, guys, this might be the last episode ever of Kindergarten, and I'm really sad about that because this game is so cool. I love it. Well, let's take a look at this Monster Mon card anyway. This is the Wizard Worm card, not to be confused with Mage Maggot or Sorcerer Serpent. <laughs> What's this one over here? I think we got the blue eyes one, right? This supposed to be from Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, blue eyes gold dragon card. Please don't sue. <laughs> now that I think about it, I actually I, I still some I occasionally play Yu-Gi-Oh. It's it's pretty fun, okay. And I play it as a kid, as a little lad, I played Yu-Gi-Oh. I had like no, I'm not even joking. I had a stack this big. I don't know why I kept it all in one stack, but I I just thought you know the taller it gets, the more impressive and cool people will think that I will be. But I really did have a buttload of cards. I was so proud, but now that I look at them, they do look like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They're kind of like, you know, uh, like brown, and then these are these look a little bit different. Totally reminds me of that. So I guess if we're gonna get some more money, we should probably get the yo-yo. That way we can go grab the five bucks. Yes, the five bucks to uh, that's in the the janitor's closet. Yeah, that's where it's at. You gotta spend a little bit of money to make some money. So we had to spend a dollar to to get a profit of four dollars. It's pretty crazy, guys. I'm basically rich. Okay, and right now we're going to get kidnapped, or not kidnapped, we're stupid. Uh, we're gonna get sent to the principal's office, basically the same thing. And uh, that way we can get pills to give to the teacher. That way we can go stoop and get some money from the cubbies as well. Last episode was so crazy, guys. Okay, I don't want to spoil it. Okay, alright, so spoiler alert. I'm about to spoil it, alright, just in case just in case you want to know. That's why you should definitely click the eye to watch the last, last episode if you haven't seen it. But anyway, we uh, saved what Billy was Bill uh, Billy's his name, right? That was insane. I was I was so freaking excited about that. Oh, hey, there's a monster money card in there. Have I got that one already? I believe I have. I don't know why I thought to check in there. Dang. I hope we can get that five bucks. I think the whole mechanic of this game, how like everything you do takes takes a, a chunk of time, so you have to prioritize what you want to do. If you if you want to go a certain way, then you have to prioritize like the way you're gonna spend your apples, basically. And I think that is so cool. It's so unique and fresh. And plus the game's funny. It's just absolutely hilarious. And it's like every little kid's nightmare at the same time, so it really works. Now that I kind of think about it, most games are made because of little kid's nightmares, basically. Oh, I can take the Monster Mon card. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess we should do that, right? It's probably a good idea to do that. Yeah, I don't think we ever got that one, so sweet, we already got uh, another card. I never took the laser pointer. What? Well, I don't think we've ever done this, guys. Search me, man. I don't have it, so screw off or I'll tell my dad you peed in the water fountain again. <laughs> you win this round, kid. What about you? Well, he shouldn't. Oh, he'll find the Monster Mon card, though. I think. Oh, okay, no, he didn't find anything. Cool. I've never done this route. Or done it like this. Because, uh, originally we would have to get the laser pointer and, uh, throw it inside the trash can, but we don't have one, so... So now I think we can actually sell our hall pass. Let's see if we can do that. Yep. Dang, five bucks. Five clamps. Just, just like that, guys. Seriously, if you, if, if you have seven dollars as a kid, as a kindergartner, it's like, <laughs> the younger you are, the less money it takes for you to be very popular. I remember when I was in what? What, like five? 
four, fourth, fifth, or sixth grade, if you had a if you had a bag of hot Cheetos, you were cool. All right. <laughs> I remember like people would have bikes with pegs on the back. That way, um, this one kid in particular would charge people a bag of hot Cheetos in order for them to give give him a ride. Because he, you know, he he would come, he would go all the way to school from basically around where a bunch of kids live. So he'd give people rides just as long as they bought him hot Cheetos, which is like a dollar. But I mean, he's got a little business going on, in which it's like no, it's no cost to him. He's just giving people's rights. You know, it's I, th I thought it was pretty cool. Those, those kids have goals, I tell you. So I wonder, I wonder if we can pay two dollars to go get the five dollars. That would actually make us more money, right? Hi, Lily. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's go in here. Oh, crap, no, go back. Oh, whatever, it's not like it matters. We can only carry $10 anyway. They need to find a way, okay? They need to find some way to make, uh, some kind of DLC for this game. It's too good to pass up like that. Oh, yeah, this is right. I think this is literally grass, uh, Monster Mon card. I don't like the fact that it allows you to, to carry multiple monster mon cards or like this the same ones the same monster mon cards that you got before to me that doesn't really make uh, all that much sense you know what wait one thing you know one thing that we've we've never figured out what to actually do is to use the breathalyzer because you can get the breathalyzer i wonder what the heck that's for oh hey we got two we got two new ones this is the wall of castle card too often walls get overshadowed by the castles they protect well not this time <laughs> that is very odd and random but funny uh, this is sneaky snake card. It's so sneaky. We're not even sure this is a, this is a picture of it <laughs> uh, The humor though, I, I gotta say though my favorite card is personally uh, Where's it at? Where's it at? Fafting Kalkin <laughs> It's so hilarious. He'll show you his moves, but you probably don't want to see them <laughs> Okay, so I think what we should do now is go for another run uh, and just get some more money. Basically, I'm just gonna skip everything. We do have to get something because if you don't get anything, you do get killed. All right, if we're not, if we're not showing anything in show and tell, you get killed. It seems fair, right? And what's up with this cubby? Is that supposed to be? Was that Billy's cubby? Is that why it's empty? Because that would make sense. Because everything else kind of has its own purpose. Oh, wait, have we ever got this monster mon card? I guess we can. No, we can't do that. We can restart the room. And uh, just have Jerome distract the teacher by buying him a yo-yo. Yeah, we'll do that. And just to see, because I don't know if we've ever got that monster mod card. And also, I want to know why uh, we are able to buy, uh, to get another knife. Because Bugs, in his route, he already gives you one. So why would you need a second one? Or what route would cause you to actually want to get a separate knife, that, the one that he doesn't give you? So many things, guys. I don't know what to do. Maybe there's some secrets to this game we don't know about. All right, well, we got our Monster Mon card. I think we'll just skedaddle now. Oh, no, we already got that one. Crap. Yeah, some of these, I, I don't like looking things up, but some of these are going to be just, like, way too hard, and I'd have to sit here for absolute like, crazy amount of hours to try to figure it out. So, okay, we'll just kind of look some of them up. Okay, so one of them that we don't have, which is surprisingly easy but hard to figure out, uh, bring a dollar to school, buy the six from Monty, give them to Bugs. Okay, we could do that. Ah, uh, buying cigarettes from kids. This, <laughs> there's nothing else like it. Okay, all right, can we just give it to him? Oh, hey, you want some cigarettes? Huh? Whoa, I've been robbing kids so I could buy these from Monty. Thanks a bunch. You can have this Monster Mon card. It's one of my favorites. Oh, oh how lovely. Oh, okay, guys, all right. I figured out, how, like, what we're supposed to do with that extra knife. That's how we get one of the cards, I think. Wait a minute, I just noticed that we still have the cigarettes. I, did, I thought we gave them to Bugs. Whatever, I guess he was he was nice enough to give us some. All right, sweet. I love smoking with cigarettes. Don't smoke, guys. It's bad for your health. <laughs> oh no, oh no! I accidentally shot. I accidentally shot her the cigarettes. Drugs in school? How horrible! Give those to me right now, and I don't have to pick. Now I don't have to pick some up after school. Oh, I'm also sending you to the principal's office. We have a we have. We have a some tolerance policy on violence, but a zero tolerance policy on drugs. Is that considered drugs? Cigarettes? I can put up with a lot in this school. Missing children, violence, a janitor with a questionable past. That's a lot to put up with. But the one thing I will not stand for in my school is drugs. But I know how to handle delinquents like you. Counseling? Shooting. <laughs> Why must he always shoot people? Drugs are bad. Don't show them to anyone. Okay. Alright, noted. Noted, guys. It's funny. I like, I like showing all the other things to see, like, what happens. Okay, so yeah, this one was new. It was the Cactus Outlaw. Can't wait to see what it says. 
This is the Cactus Outlaw card. No one knows which is more shocking. The crimes he's committed or that he's a sentiment cactus. Our sentient cactus. That's actually what I said the first time. You guys just didn't hear me right. Okay, so in order to get this next Monster Mod card, we have to basically go through Bite's mission, you know, let him steal our money, which we just did, and report him to the teacher, and also have Cindy get expelled instead of Bugs, and... Because eventually we're gonna use that knife to stab him. I, th I think it should work just like that I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Okay, so I think for this we have to buy the voice recorder Okay, so yes, we're gonna be your boyfriend and isn't our love enough and it's gonna send her over the edge Okay, so obviously we, re we recorded what Cindy said, so there's no way okay There's no way her little blonde hair is gonna get with get away with this Okay, so we had to talk to Jerome about the hall pass and So normally we would use the yo-yo to get the hall pass but the teacher should let us use the uh, actually look inside the cubbies to get something in order to get the hall pass I'm not cool enough for him <laughs> Okay, so now we can go find him a gift. That's what she's saying and of course we're gonna get a knife because that's cool I mean can we take other stuff? We might as well take some money while we're at it, you know Oh, so now we're supposed to buy the yo-yo. I see so we had it well, All we had to do is get that distraction in order for us to get the knife. That was it. See this this is so complicated I am very surprised at how like intricate that this story actually is like some of these little methods. Oh, I see. So we have to we have to eliminate Jerome, and I think I think we should be able to to get the poison nugget after this. I hope so. If not, we probably did it wrong. I don't know yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we had to talk to Nugget, and he gave us the poison nugget. Although we don't know it's poison yet, which is pretty crazy. Turns out Nugget is the most smartest one in the whole freaking game, and he's like the stupidest one too. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Okay, so this is where we actually use the knife. We just stab bugs. We don't have to give him a poisonous nugget. We don't even have to. He doesn't even have to agree. Let's just stab him. Get a nice little stab. Oh, God. <laughs> Enjoy that, fatty. <laughs> oh, no. He actually ran away. What is Cindy chasing after him? No, I think he. I, it's like, is he, is he just going to go die or something? Like, how does that work? What the heck, guys? Bugs is not even there, and he, he threw up anyway. Like, throw up just came out of thin air. <laughs> we found a glitch. That's interesting. That's funny. Yeah, the, the air just throws up. It's just the ghost in the school. Okay, so now we have to get Monty eliminated, and I think in order to do that, we have to, uh, t we have, to have him say that the janitor misspelled the word biscuits. Which, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I didn't know that at first, okay? Wait, do we have to tell... Maybe we have to tell him that... Oh, I can't remember. I think we have to tell him that he spelled it wrong first. What? No, I did it. How could you even know? You can't even read. Oh, but Monty can. Oh, that's right. He actually is the only one that can read. That's what. That's actually who deciphers the note, so it makes sense. Bye, Monty. It was nice knowing you. And it all makes sense. So we did that in, or in order to get the glasses to give to her, which for some reason she wants glasses. Does I don't know why she actually wants them. I guess that's one thing that doesn't really get explained. And so we go to the bathroom by, you know, giving her the glasses. And to see... Oh, wait. But there's only one apple left. How does that work? Dude, we're hoping to do something wrong. Oh! Holy crap, guys! <laughs> oh, this is insane! Why is there- is this just me? Is there, is there blood coming out of the knife? Poor bugs. Poor- poor soul. Poor bugs. It, it says it. It's funny. It looks like he was trying to get something from underneath this tile. Interesting. It looks like Bugs had a secret stash under this tile. There's a monster mine card along with the money he took from uh, me this morning. Oh, so you can actually just get your money back. Okay. But obviously we're doing this with the card, so. Hey, you shouldn't be in there. It's recess time. Go out and play. So I, I didn't know you can get your money back. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, so now we basically just, we can really end this however we feel like it. So just like normal, uh, I guess we'll get this monster mod card just because I don't remember if we actually got this one I think we did and then we have to get uh, Cindy's dog, right? Yes, and that's gonna be the proof in order for uh, the teacher to kill Nugget. I still think it's the saddest thing that uh, That Billy's grave is right there like Nugget is such a he's such a good guy. He's got to be my favorite character Oh, b back away Nugget 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 Why? I'm so sad. Dang, we got so many gold stars. The only person we haven't killed is Cindy. I don't think we can. I don't think you're going to have enough time to get all the gold stars today. Better luck tomorrow. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> I couldn't murder all my classmates. Aw, oh, man. I mean, when a card is rare, it's rare, okay? You kill all your friends to get it. Martian, Martian Orb Man. Sounds great. Probably wasn't worth all their lives, but yeah, I guess I already did it. Live and learn, huh? Martian Orb Man. He comes in peace, but those orbs make a lot of people really uncomfortable. It was totally worth it guys. Okay, so this next card is actually interesting All we have to do is get a dollar and it basically do uh, Cindy's route 
And uh, instead of pour but, uh, blood on uh, Lily, we're just gonna show her the notes that we get from the janitor's thing. So we're not gonna bring the blood at all. There's gonna be absolutely no blood involved. Okay, sorry guys. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. Why would we, we have the note already? Can't we just can't we just show her anyway? Let's actually try that. We'll just grab the note already and just show it to her. Okay, so let's try to show it to Cindy. Okay, that wasn't an option. Great. So now we're gonna feed Cindy her dog because she's a she's a, she's not a nice person. Okay. So that's why you you could buy a chocolate bar for ten dollars, but what does the chocolate bar do? That's a, that's a whole nother thing. Holy crap! Now we're in the janitor's closet, so we have to take the note. Although we had the note, it doesn't really make any sense, but we'll just do it anyway. Oh well, we can tell Cindy. Okay, we can tell Cindy I got this paper. A stupid note. We can't even read. You better find someone who can read this, who uh, won't get us in trouble, and it better be worth it. Oh, never mind. I thought I was doing it wrong. <laughs> and don't you dare show it to the teacher. We'll get in trouble if you do that. I kind of want to know what happens if we show it to the teacher, just just because. Oh, we can't. Okay, I tried. Oh crap. We need we need a dollar. We can try using one of our apples, but. I don't think it'll work. So this note, it, se it seems to be a recipe of some sort. Oh, this is the janitor's recipe for those gross looking biscuit balls. Oh, so she's gonna know. Okay, yeah, he's using biscuit. He's actually using Cindy's missing dog as an ingredient. Oh, that is just so messed up. I hope no one has ever eaten one. That'd be gross. And we gave Cindy one. Oh my God. I, I, I really wanna know what she's gonna say now. It's a recipe for the janitor's biscuit balls. It's just a stupid recipe? I can't believe I went to all the trouble of stealing the key to the janitor's closet just so you could steal a dumb recipe. Oh, hey, uh, by the way, your dog is an ingredient. <laughs> that creepy old man is so dead. Where is he? I'm gonna kill him. You are janitor. <laughs> What's going on? On there, little girl. How, how can the janitor help you? You killed my dog. What breed was it? The meat is quite tasty. <laughs> I'm going to kill you with my bare hands. He's actually running away from her. Wow, you're faster than I thought. Oh, wow. Hey, stop. Okay, I get it. I'll pull all the recipes of your dog back. <laughs> my mop, I need that. My ear. Oh, but she actually kills the janitor. My ear, you bit, you bit off my ear. That's not all you're about to lose. Oh, my God. Oh. This is brutal, guys. <laughs> he killed her. What? I wasn't expecting to find out what happened to my dog today. I'm sorry for dragging you into this, but you have exceeded my expectations as a boyfriend today. That that was uh, pretty messed up. I know, but I'll make it up to you. Here, you can have this flower. It's pretty like me. Oh, so that's another way to get the flower. I didn't know that. I can tell, but the I can tell by the look in your eyes that you think you deserve a little more. Here's a special monster mon card. You really are the best boyfriend I've ever had. Thanks. Note to self, don't mess with, uh, Cindy. <laughs> She's just chilling. She's chilling like that. This is the janitor's trusty mop. Apparently, it's not very effective at warding off angry girls. Oh, let's take the mop. I'm guessing we probably show it at show and tell and they'll say something. Oh my god, it froze. I was right at the end. God. All right, so Cindy wants us to show... <laughs> she still has the head. So, so she wants us to show the flower, but we're gonna show the mop and hopefully she doesn't kill us because she just might. Ah yes, the janitor's mop, a true icon of our school. It's cleaned so many messes, killed so many children, I heard it's been passed down for generations. Some say it once belonged to Napoleon. How fascinating. That's a very good show and tell, thank you. So who's next? Oh, wow, we didn't die, great. There's probably- I, I don't think there's anything else we could probably do with it though. I hope we don't die though, that would suck. She's- oh crap, she's gonna talk to us though. This school is freaking messed up, you know that? Okay, yeah, this episode is probably gonna be really long, so I'm gonna kind of speed up the process, guys, and just kind of show you how I got the cards, alright? That's gonna be a lot easier. Oh, here we go. Okay, so, so for this one, we just had to ask the janitor to- to clean the stall, and so while he's distracted, there was a card in here instead of checking, you know, the body and all that good stuff. Okay, so we got the man with a long arm. You had to go to the janitor doing Jerome's mission, so instead of going to get his laser pointer, you go here and you talk to him and you have to keep talking to him until he starts talking about like why you're there and stuff like that and you tell him that you're here uh, just because uh, you wanted to be here you have the pass <laughs> and he actually tells you that he's like yeah I just stole the laser pointer and everything like that sorry guys I wasn't recording I was trying to save some time here but anyway we got the man with a long arm that was a pretty tough one okay so for this monster man card we have to give Cindy a biscuit ball but we have to get it for free all right, and I, I didn't know we can get it for free. So let's ask him, why would Cindy want to try one? <laughs> You're being creepy about it. Did you drug it? <laughs> she wants something vegan. 
You're her boyfriend. Wow. Talk about setting the bar low. I'll make you a deal. What's the deal? I'll give you the biscuit ball for free. Don't worry. It's vegan. I'll also throw in one of the monster mon cards. All you got to do is make sure she eats it. What do you say? Deal. Oh, okay. So that's like the official uh, uh, mission to get, get her to actually eat it. Okay, cool. It's still so messed up though. So we can't get this card yet, but wait, what happened to our... Oh, oh, I forgot. We have to go talk to the janitor again. I almost did not get that card. <laughs> yep. Cool. We got it. Awesome. So we can get the slop and throw it in the trash. And just keep doing it. But we can't do it now. We have to wait till next playthrough to do that. We can do that. It's all good, guys. I'm throwing it away. <laughs> I mean, it is children. That's actually what it is. Alright, so you can't give me crap about wasting food. Alright. <laughs> you want some more tasty, nutritious slop for lunch? Please. I'm flattered you want seconds. There you go. Come back once you finished it. If you want. God, they just got slop for days. How much can uh, three students produce? <laughs> just keep on throwing it away. Is she gonna get mad? How you doing there, Sunny? What's some more tasty, nutritious slop? Yes. My word, even Bugs doesn't eat my slop with such enthusiasm. Well, hey, it's delicious. I think you've earned something special. My way of saying thank you for appreciating the slop. Here's a monster mine card. Now go on and finish that slop. Don't worry, I'll be serving it again tomorrow. Yippee! <laughs> Well, that was easy. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be able to pass a drug test. We we showed the slap for uh, show and tell. Yeah, we probably wouldn't be able to pass a drug test eating that crap. It's the 40th Monday. Holy crap. How many times have we done this? So we only need three more cards now. Okay, so to get this card, what, I don't know the name of it, but let's see. Uh, we have to tell the principal. So we got sent to the principal's office. We had to tell him that we used to be friends. But we had a fight. A fight? What were you fighting over? Monster Mon cards, of course. Ugh. I hate those infernal cards. Sometimes I take away Jerome's when he's being awful. Heh. <laughs> Would I be a bad dad if I gave you one of his to annoy him? No. <laughs> I'll take it. I would. I really want to know what happens when we get all these cards. Actually, I lied when I said that this was going to be the last episode. There's, there's actually not an official ending to this game yet. And once the developers actually implement it, then I will make one more last episode. I forgot about that. Alright guys, so we got $14. And now we should be able to buy this uh, monster mod card from him. Let's see. Dang, we're so balling right now with our $14. Pleasure doing business with you. Sweet. We got the Holy Knight. Is that what it was called? All right. So in order to get this card, which I was really cur uh, curious about this before, I was wondering what would happen if we say abort the baby when she talks about the baby. Okay, so now we're going to abort it. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I know exactly how to do it. I think there's a pill you can take. Uh, you can have one of these pills that, that I have here. Perfect. Gulp. Who knew abortion would feel so nice? You're the best boyfriend ever. I think you've earned a special treat. Cool. You have this monster mod card since we, uh, you went the extra mile here to actually have an abortion pill. <laughs> we should totally have lunch together. See you in the cafeteria. Sure, yeah, it's gonna be great. Now that I have my monster mod card, I'm, I don't even give a crap, okay? Okay, so I'm thinking this very, very last card. Uh, I thought that we got this from before, but I think... What happened last time is we unscrewed the thing, but we got sent back to class. That's kind of what happened to me right now, but we never came back. So I think this is the last card. It's gotta be. Oh, hey, it is. Sweet. Look at that guy. So many monster mod cards. Oh, wow. So the one we just got was Tornado Fly. This uh, fly can generate tornadoes by flapping its its wings. They're not very big because he's a bug. <laughs> evil Thwarter. It doesn't thwart evil. It's a thwarter that is evil. Okay. This is Eye of the Butt Holder. The art for this card is just a zoomed in picture of the back of a cat. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Man with long arm. A freak accident gave his arm incredible length, but took it from somewhere else. Spiky flim flam. Its film, its flim is is far sharper than its flam. Wow. Uneaten cake. Looks like your mom didn't show up at the party. Okay. Holy night. Okay, this this is the one that costs like thirteen dollars or something like that. He would have been a priest, but then he found out they aren't allowed to court women. Okay. Giraffe serpent. It's a snake with a really long neck or body. We can't tell. So now what? Does anything else happen? Well, you know, that's kind of disappointing. I thought we'd get something really cool for all of our, for all of our cool Monster Mon cards. I'm pretty sure if there is nothing now, there's probably going to be uh, something with the real ending if you get all the Monster Mon cards. I'm sure of it. I hope. I mean, I guess I can't speak too soon, right?
Well, uh, I don't really know what else to do. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. And until we get another update, I'll play some more. I'm really going to miss this series, though, because I really enjoyed making it. Although a lot of the times, it takes me about an hour to two hours to record just one episode. But even still, I really love this series. And I just really like how original the, the game is. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for supporting me in this series and watching it. A lot of you guys have watched, and I really, really appreciate it. I always love it when we get more people on board with other games. It seriously is such a great feeling. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Um, subscribe if you haven't already on BG Mike, and I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Bye, guys.